Romans 11.20 Because of unbelief they were broken off, but you stand by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed lest he also not spare you. Verse 22, Behold therefore the goodness and the severity of God. On them which fell, severity. But towards the goodness, if you continue in his goodness, otherwise you also shall be cut off. Access denied. Yes, God is love. And yes, you might have God in your heart, but does that mean that you can live in any way that you want and still be granted access into heaven? No. But there is still some hope for those people who will change their minds and ask the Lord to forgive them at least while there is still time. Verse 23 says, And they also, if they abide not in their unbelief, if they leave their unbelief, they'll be grafted back in, for God is able to graft them in again. So maybe you're one of these people that started to follow the Lord, started to believe, but for whatever reasons, cares of world, deceitfulness of riches, things that were in your heart that never came out, seeds that were sown that were allowed to grow and to harvest, maybe they've pulled you away. The good news is if you repent, if you turn away from those ways, God is able to graft you back in again. Turn over in the Old Testament, Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. Called by name only, Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread wear our own apparel, only let us be called by your name to take away our reproach. Access denied. What is this talking about? This is the condition of many people in the church. They take hold. And it says seven women. It doesn't necessarily stay with the women. It can be seven men, but in this illustration, it says seven women, seven people. Take hold of one man. That's Jesus. That's the church. And these women, they're saying, these are the Christians in the church that say, we want to be called Christians. Call us by your name. But we have our own bread. We'll feed ourselves. We'll put into our spirits. We'll put into our lives the things that we want to eat. We have our own clothing. Don't clothe us in your righteousness. We have our own ways of doing things. But just let us be called by your name and take away our reproach. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread. We will wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by your name to take away our reproach. Access denied. Isaiah 4, 1. 